Okay, when a 10 ohm resistor is connected across the terminals of a cell of EMFE and internal resistance R, a current of uh, 0.1 ampere flows through the resistor. If the 10 ohm resistor is replaced with a 3 ohm resistor, the current increases uh, to 0.24 ampere. So find EMF and internal resistance R. Okay, so looks like here we have two conditions. Yeah, if you look carefully. Here first he say when 10 ohm resistor blah 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 about current 0.1 ampere. Okay, so this is the first condition. And then the second condition is this one. If the 10 ohm resistor replaced with 3 ohm, so that, that means now you use 3 ohm resistor. Last time you used 10 ohm, now you use 3 ohm resistor. Then uh, current goes to uh, 0.24 ampere. So this is the second condition. Uh, all right. So you must identify this thing here. Yeah? Find EMF and uh, internal resistance R. Okay. So we are going to list down our two situation here to um, make our um, you know more systematic our data uh, data collection more systematic. So, uh, this 10 ohm resistor actually is the external resistor. External resistor we put as R1. Yeah, because it's first condition. That's why we put it as R1. So, this 3 ohm resistor will be R2. Okay, R2. And then uh, EMF, internal resistor, the current. Okay, this is the I1. Yeah, I1. And then the, this one, second condition, after you change the the external resistance, the current also changes. So this current, the new current is I2. Uh, so we can see that the EMF and internal resistance, this EMF and internal resistance, they are constant. Uh, they use back the same battery. They use the same, they use the same battery. Uh. So these two, they are constant. Yeah. The EMF and the internal resistance they are constant. They use because they use like the same battery. Yeah? They just change the external resistance and so the current also changes. It's just the it's just the in external resistance changes and current changes. The battery is still the same. Battery is still the same battery. So it's same EMF and same internal resistance because same battery. Okay? So we can uh, put like, like this. Uh, R1 is uh, 10 ohm, whereas uh, R2 is uh, 3 ohm. But uh, the current I1 is uh, 0 0.1 at, uh, 0 ampere, whereas I2 is uh, 0 0.24 ampere. And we use the same battery. So the EMF of internal resistance is the same. Okay, so we can use the formula. Uh, which formula we're going to use? I'm going to use this formula. Where is the my formula? Oh, I didn't write. Ah, uh, this one lah. Uh, this is the formula we're going to use. E EMF equal to current multiply the total resistance. The total resistance we have external resistance and internal resistance. Okay, E equal to I R plus R. Okay, so uh, going to use that formula. Okay, E equal to I R plus R. Alright, let's highlight it first. Highlight. Ah, we're going to use this formula. Right. Okay, um, so. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, okay, so now we substitute the formula. Yeah, substitute the value. Uh, this one is E equal to I uh, R plus R. Uh, both we are going to use the same formula I R plus R. But uh, this one has uh, external resistance I R one and current I I one. So put this as I R one I one. Uh, this one will be R two I two. Okay, but the EMF. E, uh, EMF and internal resistance, they are the same. Okay, they are the constant. Okay, 
So, uh, substitute the value, then we can do uh, simultaneous equation. <laughs> okay, so uh, EMF equal to this I1 is 0 0.1 ampere. Uh, external resistance is 10 ohm. And then um, EMF, uh, this I2, I2 is 0 0.24 ampere. 0 0.24 ampere and then external resistance is uh, 3 ohm 3 ohm okay ah now we can solve these two equation to to find the emf and r yeah simultaneous okay uh what i'm going to do is um how to do simultaneous um okay uh, i expand first lah i expand first so this is uh, EMF, uh, EMF, and then this one is uh, this one is uh, okay. Zero point one times ten is one. Yeah, zero point one times ten. Yeah, we have to expand, expand, uh, and then this one is uh, zero point one R. And how about this one? Uh, zero point two four multiply three. We will get uh, zero point seven two. 0 0.72 and then plus 0 0.24 r okay ah so now we can do simultaneous we can do simultaneous yeah this is equation one this is equation two so how to find how huh? we can use two minus one lah we can use two minus one uh two minus one and so we will get so when 2 minus 1 emf minus emf we will get 0 we will get 0 okay emf minus emf get 0 and then uh oh 2 minus 1 uh, so it becomes 0 0.27 minus 1 0 0.27 minus 1 you will get negative uh, negative 0 0.28 0, negative 0 0.28 and how about here 0 0.24 r minus 0 0.1 r i get 0 0.14 r okay ah uh, minus so ah uh, i can find my uh internal resistance go to the other side uh become positive and what's my internal resistance 0 0.28 divided by 0 0.14 so it is 2 ohm. My internal resistance is 2 ohm. Next, I can find my, I can find my uh, EMF. I can use back the formula, uh, the first formula. Use back the first formula and then substitute my internal resistance. Uh, and uh, 1 plus 0 0.1 multiplied by internal resistance R. So, okay. So, 1 plus uh, 0.1 times 2 okay my answer is 1.2 volt uh, that's my emf 1.2 volt 1.2 volt okay that's my answer am i right okay i am right i am correct so it is the emf is uh, 1.2 volt that's right and then internal resistance is 2 ohm 2 ohm that's right so my answer is correct okay so the answer is just use simultaneous equations build two formula and do simultaneous and you can get the answer that's all bye bye